Hello everyone, I am Dimple Rangila and today we will talk about storytelling and how it can be used for language development in a classroom. So let's first discuss that why should we use storytelling in classroom. Listening and telling stories help children in learning language in primary classes. Listening to stories is of interest to children and also enhances their creativity. Often it is seen that children mold the stories they have heard as per their wishes while telling it to their friends. Through this, they not only learn meaning of words but also develop an understanding of various incidents and this facilitates in enhancing their imagination. They would be talking about their own experiences or stories of what they have heard from others. It enhances the ability of children to estimate. For example, Whenever children are listening to a story, they are curious to know what happens next. They guess as per their understanding and if the story progresses as per their guess, they grow more confident and with, their and with time, their estimates become more accurate. Most notably, these stories help the children to prepare for their future life. For example, the rabbit and the lion story prepares them mentally to face the difficulties that life brings in front of them. In storytelling, we keep incorporating our life experiences. Sometimes, when the storyteller finds something very important, then she exaggerates that part of the story and emphasizes the same part. While doing this, main focus is on shaping the life's incidents, characters, etc and also in attracting the attention of the listener. Moreover, the storyteller's manner of telling the story impacts the interest generated in the story. And whenever new words are used in a story, the children are able to guess the meaning of the word by observing the expressions of the storyteller. This facilitates in enhancing their vocabulary, listening, understanding and estimation. Discussing about a story after listening to it is a little difficult task. But if the teacher is prepared with its objectives, then it can become a useful medium. Most of the teachers feel that after telling the story, it is their right to ask the children about the lesson they have learned from it. Whereas, in order to initiate a meaningful dialogue with the children, raising the question is not at all correct. Many a times, the children themselves ask questions or raise certain issues that are pertinent to the story in question. Telling stories to children is as important as listening to stories from them. This helps the children in developing their ability to express themselves. In fact, children as storytellers is one such area which needs to be explored a lot. Instead of asking the children to repeat the story told by the teacher, it is more beneficial to ask them to tell any story that they like. While responding to the personality and the character of the story, the child includes her experiences in it. Every child in the class should be given the freedom that she can talk anything regarding the story and can even exaggerate through his or her imagination. Now how we can use it in a classroom? It is a great tool to form rapport with children, to make connections, to help children to express themselves. It strokes their imagination, makes them curious and then they predict that what will happen next in the story. It is a great classroom management technique and makes the children much more receptive apart from all the advantages in the language development. Sensitive issues can also be discussed by using storytelling as a tool in the classroom. Storytelling can generate meaningful discussion and help in forming peer relationships. So, let us see the advantages of storytelling for children. As a cognitive process, it helps children to infer and derive meaning from what they have heard. It helps them further in problem solving because they relate the happenings of the story to their real life situation. It helps them to sequence the story and in exploration. It helps them to understand emotions of their own selves as well as emotions of the others. 
they also learn to empathize that means they learn to put themselves in the other person's shoe to understand how another person would be feeling at a particular time it further enhances social development as children when they are together in the classroom it leads to collaboration cooperation initiative taking and one story can generate multiple views and perspectives of children furthermore it also addresses diversity in the classroom and it also gives the conversational flow to the child which means that the child gets his or her own space to express himself and which leads to active participation and meaningful engagement in the classroom advantages for teachers and schools it helps teachers to reach out to all the students and further it addresses diversity in the classroom because in a class there are children who come from diverse backgrounds diversity can be based on the basis of caste class gender and even the language that they speak it equips teachers to sustain children's interests and creates meaningful association with children and the connect that the teacher will be able to form with the children in the classroom will be a long lasting and an impactful con connect it helps them understand cultural context of the children in the classroom they will be able to understand each and every child and children can be given active voices in their own learning experiences where they themselves are voicing their opinions so now i am going to suggest a few activities that of related to storytelling that can be used in the classroom so here you can see that we can explore storytelling through children's drawings that is after narrating a story to the children or if a story is narrated by the children themselves we can ask them to draw any particular character from the story that they like or any scene from the story that they would like to draw we can also ask along with this while they are drawing or after the drawing is completed we can ask them what they have drawn this will lead to a dialogue that would be generated with the children and they will become more confident about speaking about what they have drawn so here as you can see in the picture children have drawn pictures from the various stories that they have shared for example goldilocks and the three bear snow white the wonderful wizard of oz the chocolate factory here we can see that we can also find out certain gender differences in drawings of children based on the stories so for example the slide that is the drawing that is on the left side we can see a man and he is having a gun in his hand and using it with another person it is drawn by a boy whereas girls choose to draw a, another girl and birds uh, and uh, the clouds this is a story which was narrated to children to know uh, to tell them about the water cycle so children really like the idea of the rainbow so all of them chose to draw a rainbow from the particular story again when the water cycle was getting completed so children draw, drew how the drop which after evaporation goes up to the sky it has come back so they have drawn their interpretation of the water cycle in this case the story on the water cycle so children's drawings are the combination of these visuals and the words which we will ask children to talk about captures children's attention concentration and recall because they will have to talk about what they have drawn the illustrations as you saw in the previous slides are not just simple visual responses of recall because the children would have thought about the whole story and then drew certain features from the stories so it was also at the cognitive level and it also helped them in the language development each drawing further reveals one or the other elements of the story that was shared by the child himself or herself children also extend their verbal expression through the drawings which is also shared by a cognitive development uh, theory uh, by vygotsky then we can also narrate children incomplete stories and ask them to complete these stories so story completion is the next activity so children listen visualize reflect and then suggest alternatives and express their feelings for the characters of the story in words for example if we narrate a story 
to the children and do not complete it and we ask them to complete the whole story so every child can give a different version of the story in this they may extend the story distort it substitute new characters and maybe at times they can add new characters and make up their own stories furthermore it gives personal interpretation and meaning to the story wherein every child will give or might give a different meaning it leads to comprehension of the story at different levels because all the children will be understanding the story at their own levels and the way they will relate to the story or the characters of the story will also be different from other children it will lead to free expression and response from all the children so this is one method that can make the whole class inclusive as all children can be participating in one or the other activity then we can also use role play or story enactment wherein after sharing a few stories with the children we can ask them to uh, enact the story we can make uh, form groups of children and then we can give them different stories on which they would be enacting it has been found that when children enact and do dramatization of these stories it gives them a freedom to infer derive meaning and modify the story at their own discretion because they will think of the characters who will become what character who will be the narrator of the story how are they going to portray the character different characters of the story so all this they for this they will also uh, be together and work on it it also helps them in problem solving as they deal with the challenge and bring about a resolution and since it will be a group activity a lot of group dynamics can also be understood innovation and spontaneity are also evident through their thoughts and actions many a times immediately the children have to improvise on the role that they are having in the story so that innovation and spontaneity becomes very important in storytelling the flexible nature of these enactments make the classroom again very inclusive wherein all the children can be participating in these activities and can have different roles in the story enactment process stories by children so now we will talk about children as storytellers wherein they themselves make their own stories and share their stories so by till now we spoke about children as listeners now when we give give an opportunity to children to tell their own stories it transforms them from listeners to active participants in the storytelling process they the opportunity gives them a conversational floor as i talked about earlier also to get their voices heard and they really look forward to this personal space wherein they can share their stories with others this not only makes them feel confident but also increases their self esteem and self worth and they take pride in sharing these stories with others and they also like the idea that they are being heard by others the activity leads to free expression of ideas and individual voices received equal attention from all so till now we talked about the group storytelling activity this is an being an individual activity children will get an individual expression of their thoughts and that their expression will come in through their stories and believe me it is something which will be attended by all because stories take the children away from uh, the immediate surrounding of the classroom to the space where they are talking about in a particular stories this way stories also turn to become a traveling metaphor by traveling metaphor i mean that stories travel across space from one place to the other when the children will be sharing these stories with their other peers who may be or maybe their siblings they go back and share with their parents grandparents uncles or aunts this way no story will remain an untold story all the stories this way will travel from one place to the other and will be shared by one person or the other person and then every time a story travels it will be transformed by that person's interpretation so that will give a new meaning to the story children also voice what an ideal story should be like now since we are talking about active agency of children so they also have a voice in what an ideal story should be like so children usually like usually like stories which have animal characters 
and stories which start which have a particular clear beginning there is a middle in which there is a problem posed and how that challenge is overcome by the central character of the story towards the end so they like to listen to these stories to conclude i would say that storytelling is a social experience in the classroom because it leads to collaboration in across peers in the classroom they all come together and the group dynamics in the classroom become very important if we give them activities to be done in groups such a classroom environments provide children opportunities to try out new social roles because during as i said uh, enactment of a story they will take up new roles so they will know how a particular person uh, has or his or her own role and they would like to be in that role and also they will use the language constructively they will form their own characters they will give dialogues to their characters there will be dialogue delivery and they will also see at the same time how their dialogues are making uh, these dialogues are making an impact on the audience many a times they also change the dialogues according to the audience if they think that the audience is not liking it they may add humor to the story so it it's all adds to their own constructive experiences and along with that creativity in the classroom children further they become active meaning makers and contributors this way they become producers of knowledge and not just as consumers of knowledge in the classroom because we are giving them an active agency through which they engage meaningfully within the classroom individually or in group with the other children thus we can say that storytelling promotes initiative taking in children it leads to a lot of imagination children bring innovation through different storytelling activities is interesting for them and since it's an interactive activity it further leads to enhancement of language development it allows cognitively it allows for cognitive exploration they explore the various uh, viewpoints the multiple perspectives that other children are giving leads to experimentation and experience and the kind of experience that they gain from storytelling as an activity works multifold it helps in holistic development of children thus in today's session on storytelling and how it leads to language development in the classroom we learned about the use of storytelling and furthermore the advantages of storytelling and in a classroom how using different activities we can make storytelling as a tool to enhance the language development of the child and furthermore which leads to the holistic development of the child thank you